Monday. We're gonna spend the week together. This week, I am working every single day, but there's gonna be some exciting-ish things happening outside of business hours. Like, I'm so excited. It's gonna be a very good week. It's gonna be a very good week. I'm just checking in, because I'm about to get ready and go to work. I'll see you after work, and then we'll get on with some fun stuff. Yay. Hello, I'm home from work and I had a little package. It is from Amazon. I've been shopping for books. Oh, really should, this is, this is books too. Okay, I have five books. Darling Girls by Sally Hepworth, The Family Next Door, Hopeless by Colleen Hoover, Wildfire, Emily Henry's new book, Funny Story. I need to go and do my workout. I'm doing lower body today. With my new job, we go to the gym twice a week as a team. And so my work actually pays for a gym membership for me, which is like such a blessing. But at boot camp at work on Thursday last week, we did 1RM testing on squats. I've never done a 1RM test before, but at my peak strength like a year ago, my 5RM squat was 67 and a half kilos. After my whole running era, my strength was not great. I've been working to try and build it back up over the past couple months. Honestly, very surprised. <laughs> For my 1RM, I managed to squat 75 kilos. It was hard. I did try for 80. I got to the bottom and I had to, I had to bail it off. Anyway, so now I'm getting a little bit uh, confident on my squats, which is actually cool. It's probably what I needed, to be fair. So we're gonna chuck some fives on and 50. <laughs> Dang it! That was really humbling. Nah, we're gonna try again. <laughs> I'm in a dressing gown because I literally just jumped out of the shower because I have to put dinner on. Mum is working a long way away from home today, so she's not gonna be home till later. And she's like, Emma, there's a roast chicken in the fridge. Can you put it in the oven at 4.30? I'm like, yes, ma'am. And it's 4.30, so this is the chicken. And it's going in the oven, which is very conveniently preheated. Facts, thoughts, and opinions on this hoodie. I was, it's a Taylor Sport one. It's a new, unreleased color. I've never owned anything from Taylor Sport before. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I'm impressed. It feels very nice and soft. The color is what I'm unsure on. Like, total transparency. I was sent this. I was gifted it. Hashtag gifted. Just claim it. So there you go. If I was in Sterling Sports and I saw this up on the rack, along with other colors, this would not be the first color that I would pick. It's got like a gray, bluey kind of flick into it and like a white flick as well like I wouldn't I wouldn't pick it I wouldn't gravitate towards it but I actually quite I think I quite like it like it's something different but I don't know what do you guys think I'm gonna make myself a little protein shaky thing I bought some protein powder from Naked Harvest and I've been wanting to try their protein powder for probably like three years now but I just don't really know where I stand with protein powder. I don't think I've ever really given it a good enough go to have like a solid opinion on it. So anyway, I'm trying to give it a solid go at the moment. I've been having it after all my workouts, trying to have it within that like 15 to 30 minute window after I finish moving. From Naked Harvest, while I was doing my protein powder order, I also got some stimulant-free pre-workout. The st only difference between this one and the stimulant one is the stimulant one has caffeine in it, but since I work out in the afternoons and I naturally have been blessed with a lot of energy. Thank you, Jesus. I didn't really need the caffeine. So this is a sour peach flavor. That's pretty good. I wanted to take creatine, but I didn't want to take it straight. Whereas this just has it as like an ingredient as part of it. So I was like, let's start with this. No, my whiskers flat. Oh. That's so funny. I was literally thinking the other day, man, I'm never have to charge this thing. I wonder how long the battery lasts. Well, now you know. This is so like the, genuinely tastes like strawberry, like a strawberry milkshake or like a strawberry Nesquik. This is so tasty. Like I hate when protein powder just tastes like dirt or like sandpaper. No, tastes like dirt with the texture of sandpaper. Disgusting. Mother also asked me to prepare some vegetables. Vegetable haul, five potatoes, three kumara, or if you're from Australia, sweet potatoes, two parsnips, three carrots, and a quarter of a pumpkin. My dad is about to storm in here because it just popped up on the security cameras that he is home. Just wait for it. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> right, Dad, what have you got here? We were very fortunate for a neighbour. Went fishing last week down at Waihau and had excess <laughs> I'm fish. I'm making in the background. <laughs> okay, go back to the beginning. Okay, yeah, okay. Ooh, hopeless, okay, take two. All right, Dad, what have you got here? A neighbour up the road went fishing, managed to catch a 124 kilogram bluefin tuna and uh, we were fortunate to get a little bit. So here's a little bit here, salt and pepper seared, bit of wasabi and soy sauce. Good. Not bad. It is good. We just tried to have some raw and it just, um, it was not, it was still good, but it wasn't as nice. This is really tasty. That's coming, like, I love sashimi, just like straight raw fish. 
But this actually set up is um really tasty. Dinner. I am currently, I should probably not be sitting on the tiles. My butt is so cold right now. I'm going through this pile of books and stuff. I turned the shoe box into a like little suitcase thing. And this is where I keep all of my stuff from when I went to Japan in 2014. Planning on potentially going back to Japan on a family holiday next year. And my dad never came to Japan, so he'll get to come. And mum will come back to Japan, because mum came with me when I went. And my brother went two years before mum and I went. So we'll be going back. Dad will be coming for the first time. When mum and I went to Japan, Matt and Sage hadn't met yet, but Sage was in Japan at the same time as us, because keeping in mind, Sage is from Australia. Her, she was also there on a school trip. And we're pretty sure we met up with them, at, like crossed paths with them at one of the temples that we went to. Invisible string theory. Anyway, we're gonna have a look at itineraries and things that we did and see if there's anything that we wanna do again when we go back next year. Happy Tuesday. It is time to do a service on my car. It's pop the bonnet and do it together. Oh, cheapers, that is heavy. Okay, I need to pop that open. Grab this, turn it on, get a bit of that. There we go. Servicing done. For real, that is like one of my favorite parts of driving an EV is that that's it. You'll all be so stoked to know that I charged up my little whisk thing. I'm obviously home from work and it's time to do the workout of the day. Normally on a Tuesday and a Thursday, I have boot camp with work and so I don't have to do a workout when I get home, which is really nice, but for some reason today we didn't have it. Put a pre-workout because, oh my goodness, you best believe that this is the last thing I feel like doing right now. Picking my battles because I know that I'll feel so much better once I've done it. Whoa. I'm also holding the glass like this because I cut my finger last night when I was doing the dishes on everything that was in that sink or to be washed that I could have cut it on. I did it on a pair of tongs. I got these plasters last year when I did my first aid course. Got little St. John's ambulances on them. Beautiful. One of my goals at the moment is to just be able to do a, just one singular unassisted pull up. I don't think it's really that much to ask, but it is a work in progress. Trying to build up my strength. So I'm going for six reps and focusing on the downwards eccentric movement. Let's do a few reps and I'll show you what I mean. Drawing shoulder blades together and snapping the handlebars. So pull up and then down, two, three, four, five, and that is one rep. All right, workout is done, and not gonna lie, wasn't the best workout I've ever done in my life. But we persevered. It's more about the discipline of showing up than it is about having a decent workout at the moment for me because I just have really fallen off the bandwagon. It's 4.30, so I'm gonna have a shower, wash my hair, and then edit my YouTube video. I'm in my PJs. The heat pump is on. Blanket is on. Got myself. I made these like spinach little like muffin things. They're not that great. Look at that. There's so much spinach in it. It's basically just green. I'm gonna first of all edit my vlog from Saturday for TikTok. Good old cap cut. I'm like trying to experiment with my TikTok vlogs at the moment to try a few different things to see what what flies and what doesn't. This isn't too bad. Would I make them again? Probably not. Dinner time, let's play a game called Steak or Bluefin Tuna. Spoiler alert, it's uh, Bluefin Tuna. I have just finished editing the YouTube video that will be coming out before this one. I did a rough cut of it and I didn't love it, but now that I've gone back and just kind of been a little bit more intentionally creative with it, I, I do like how it's turned out. I'm gonna upload it tonight and set it to actually go live probably tomorrow night. I'll have a look and see. Like, me and YouTube just have a bit of a love-hate relationship at the moment. <laughs> I can't remember if I've actually said this anywhere on YouTube because I have definitely said it a few times. I think every time I've gone to post about it, I've been like, no, that's like, this is giving pity party. I, I just laugh about it now. Like, <laughs> I've been making YouTube videos now for, like I started in 2018. So it's been like six years. My channel like started off very slowly and then over like the space of a week, I like went from like 2,000 subscribers to like 10,000 subscribers and that was very overwhelming like I would literally sit there and watch it and it would just like tick up that was insane and then it sort of caught up to like 25k and then it jumped up to like 45k and then it's just slowly been downhill from there like my subscriber count hasn't gone up since 2020 it's been like four years I don't really care but it's kind of just like hmm a little bit concerning. Subscriber count, minus 87 in the last 28 days. And the thing is, I know exactly, I know exactly why it has been going downwards. And it's because I got saved four years ago and started talking about Jesus four years ago. And people don't like it when you talk about Jesus, but I'm not going to stop because he has literally changed my life for the better. If one person sees something that I put out and it makes them consider a personal relationship with Jesus, then I would consider my work here done. But anyway, I need to... 
it a little thumbnail and then I can post my video and it can be uploaded tomorrow. I'm so excited for tomorrow. It's gonna to be a beautiful, beautiful day. It's gonna be stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm home from work and I come bearing gifts. I had to do some errands on my way home. Firstly, I went to go visit my brother to pick up some very important things. My childhood in a box. Some SingStar mics. Some Buzz controllers. Buzz Jungle Party. SingStar Party Hits. SingStar Party. And SingStar Legends. And you're like, Emma, wh what are you what are you doing? The girls are coming over on Friday night. Girls being... It's actually the OG four of us from uni, college hall first year. Me, Taya, Rachel and Morgan. And we're gonna play some games and have a movie night. But I need to make sure that the PlayStation's actually gonna work. My brother kind of did just throw this big bag of cables at me and was like, yeah, plug this, this. I'm like, mm, okay. I can assure you I do have some memory cards. Eight megabytes. That is so small. No wonder they used to always get full. Oh my gosh. Why doesn't it have sound? I need to be hearing this. Dang, I missed it. That was, that sounds so iconic. This is so exciting. Oh, can you hear that? Did you hear that? Wow. This is so nostalgic. This is gonna be so much fun. It's so slow, but I, I'm not, I can't be mad at it. Oh my gosh! Wow, the static noise is really the main character right now. Great. It works. <laughs> oh, Bula. Hi. Welcome home. Dinner time, and I've made my signature teriyaki chicken. Coleslaw edamame chicken. Rice, how's yours? Beautiful. I am back in my work outfit of the day. I'm not going back to work, don't worry. 6.30 and I, tonight, am going to The Send. I've already been to The Send twice. I went when it was in Auckland City and I went when it was in Hamilton. I'm not about to pass up an opportunity to go and praise and worship my Lord and Saviour on a Wednesday night. Let's go and pray. Wow, this is very creamy. I think I put a little bit too much protein powder in this. I just got home from the gym. We had work boot camp today. Whoopsies. We did an upper body session. I'm so excited for this afternoon because I have nothing to do. That is such a treat. What am I going to do? So glad you asked. I'm going to clean up my smoothie off the floor first. I need to obviously have a shower. Probably just going to get a head start on my planning for next week. Like, planning my life. I might read some of my book. That's kind of it. This is such a treat. I hate it when this happens. I've been home for an hour and a half and what have I achieved in the last hour and a half? I know I said I had nothing to do, but all I've done in the last hour and a half is make two little, I have had a shower, but I just made two little TikToks. It just like occurred to me that Sabrina Carpenter is like, like I forget that Sabrina Carpenter is the same as Sabrina Carpenter, as in like Disney Channel, Sabrina Carpenter. And I used to be obsessed with her songs, especially the song Can't Blame a Girl for Trying. I don't remember what the chords were, but I haven't played the song in years. It's quite high. Oh, fifth three, I was close. I actually got the chords right. I'm getting better at playing my ear, that's pretty cool. Life admin is sorted, my budget's up to date, my week is planned, my meals are planned. I have a cup of tea that is going cold because I forgot that I poured it and I'm gonna do some reading. But what am I reading at the moment? We have fiction and a non-fiction. First up, fiction, hook, line and sinker. This has been on my TBR for like three years. Really underwhelming, wouldn't recommend. I nearly finished it. It's kind of wholesome but at the same time it's just like a little bit frustrating. And then we have Becoming Happy and Healthy by Janine Amapola. She was one of the first YouTubers I ever subscribed to back in the day. She was one of the people that inspired me to start my channel and she's written this book basically about helping people navigate their lives from a faith point of view. Really interesting read. I've been actually been reading it at work. I read like a chapter on my lunch break each day. Oh, I'm gonna put on my like fake fireplace jazz music. Yes! Wait for the jazz music to start. Yeah! Hey. <laughs> you come in, the door's open. We're having pizza for dinner and we've made pizza dough from scratch. It has been a labor of love and we've been at this for like two hours. Oh, that looks so good. Hey, stranger. Hey, girl. Dinner's awesome. ready. Look at my pizza. What have you got? We've got homemade pizza base, pesto, tomato, 
cheese. It's that really looks so good, bro. We're playing Sing Star. on Friday and do it like a Monday to Friday vlog but then I was literally just thinking A I didn't close it off last night and B my week is about to get interesting we're now on the weekend where I can actually do stuff so we're just gonna carry this out and make it a full week vlog it's, uh, it's 8 52 a.m. I uh, slept until 8 30 this morning and like if you know me you know I don't enjoy sleeping in like the only reason I sleep in is to make sure I get my eight hours of sleep because last night we didn't go to bed until I don't even know what time it was like 12 30 probably later actually I was like I haven't slept in this long in such a long time so I went back on my health app on my phone and scroll back I haven't slept in till 8 30 since October last year what am I doing today well the weather is nothing to get overly excited about not gonna lie I didn't really think past last night because I was so excited for last night I didn't really think about what I would be doing this weekend so I don't have any plans for today, which is fine. Rachel did stay here last night, so she is downstairs, probably still fast asleep. When she gets up, we'll probably go grab a coffee and hot chocolate and some breakfast. I have a few errands that I should probably do today. But oh, last night, let me fill you in. It was great. It was so much fun. It was just the four of us and we made homemade pizzas. Taya had the most incredible pizza base recipe. We turned them into the shape of hearts, which was so cute. Honestly, it was probably one of the best pizzas I've ever had. Just putting that out there that is a very bold claim then we played sing star we played buzz and then we ended up watching mamma mia it just makes me miss when we all live together i'm home from said errand running i promise i really did mean to bring you with me but i left my camera at home on charge so sorry about that but i'm home my errands was just shopping let me give you a little bit of a haul firstly went to a cafe with rachel she's now gone back to hamilton but on her way back to hamilton we went to a cafe and had she had a coffee, I had an almond croissant, and it was great. Then I went to the supermarket, and oh my gosh, everyone is actually going insane today. I don't even know what happened. FPOS machines stopped working, IT systems stopped working, and everyone's just forgotten how to act. It was literally giving, like, COVID's happened and you need to go panic buy. Like, it was, I was like, guys, you're gonna get your groceries, it's gonna be fine. Got some bread, a bunch of bananas, vegetable and lentil bolognese, and creamy pumpkin and pearl barley risotto, avocado, five mandarins, four kiwi fruit. Then I went to the pharmacy, some probiotics, some iron tablets, nail polish remover, the moisturizer that in a previous video, I don't know if it was on TikTok or Instagram, I was like, it's so, like, it's literally $70. $70? That is like like daylight robbery. I was like, this is my special cream for when my skin's bad. But I've since learned that it's actually really good for my skin and stops it from getting bad. And then I went to work pools and I bought myself a highlighter. This is the highlighter that I use to highlight my Bible and it is running out. Oh my gosh, I live for pizza from last night. And not much. Like I don't even know why I bought saving it. This afternoon I need to do a house clean. I want to call my nana. But I need to do that before 2.30 because that's when the All Blacks start playing and she'll be glued to the TV watching that. And then I have a message that I want to watch as well from Priscilla Shira. Mmm, that was so good. It's literally like bread. It is so amazing. All right, time to do some cleaning. I'm just about to hit play on a 30 minute podcast. So I'm gonna try and see. Also, I feel like I'm speaking really loud. I have my noise cancelling on. <laughs> I'm gonna see how much cleaning I can get done. Hopefully all of it in half an hour. I need to clean the bathroom, vacuum the whole house and clean my bedroom and clean the kitchen. Challenge accepted. You also probably don't have any idea what this is. This is my beautiful, big, expensive mirror that I bought when I lived in Hamilton. It survived moving houses. Back in like February, um, I accidentally tipped it over and it smashed. And so it has since been sitting here, but I have just bought a new one. I was gonna wait till I moved out of home to buy a new one so I wouldn't have to like navigate trying to move houses with it. But clearly I didn't wait. <laughs> Ordered one and it's like eight weeks away. So this one is going. Well, the glass is gonna go. I'm hoping I can use the frame of it to make some artwork. I'm gonna try and get the glass into this bucket so that I can put it in the bin. You see what I mean? I think I'm a superstitious person. 
It's all still connected, what the heck? Okay, maybe I'm not doing anything with it. I did a really good job of it when I broke it, but it doesn't want to come apart, huh? Oh, this is a really dumb idea. I thought this glass was just gonna pull out like a broken window and I could just throw it in the bin. It's all taped down. Okay, no, this is stupid. I'm gonna end up injuring myself. Change of plans. We will not be doing this today. That, I feel fabulous about that because that is a job that I've been putting off since February. Now I don't feel as bad for putting it off because there's nothing I could do about it anyway. Next job. I have this beautiful piece of artwork that I did back in March and it's been literally sitting in the hallway on the floor. I put it here this morning just like sitting there but it deserves to be actually on a wall. I don't know like does that look weird? Like does that look weird? Or does that look really cool? So I think I'm gonna hang it up. I found some command strips. Looks ugly, I'll just take it down. Make it click. In truth, step back and actually see what it looks like. Oh, you're kidding, it is crooked. Oh, um, no, that is off by one degree. We are cooped up on the couch. I have just made myself a cup of tea. Have my notebook here. I have Priscilla Shira's face on the TV and I am going to listen to the message that I've been meaning to listen to for like four months. I pray there is good reason why I waited for months to listen to it. I watched Priscilla's message and there was a lot to take it. So I'm just making some dinner. Surprise, surprise, so you see the salad again. I've got some bacon cooking over here. I like my bacon crispy, basically like crackling. Some avocado and tomato. I'm also gonna have an early night because I am fading very rapidly right now. Dinner is served. Look at that. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, <laughs> I got it. This is my dinner. I'm gonna go eat it now and watch some YouTube. I just ate my dinner and it was so good and then I came to go do my dishes and I was like ah what's this packet sitting here it's my croutons that I forgot to put on my salad it is uh 6 36 p.m on a Saturday night I'm in my pjs the heater is on I have a fluffy blanket I have fake fireplace going with jazz music and I'm about to read my book and hopefully finish it tonight people would look at this and be like you are so lame but I'm like there's no place I'd rather be right now Good morning. Let's go and serve the lawn. Hey, we are home from church. So, 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 so good this morning. I had child dedications this morning, so our connect group was like helping set up the morning tea for the families. My SD card really full. I'm gonna need to stop yapping. Just open the phone camera, let's go. Here it is, one minute, no. It is like 20 past one, so I need to make myself some lunch. We're gonna have leftovers from dinner last night. Lunch is served and it has croutons on it. So I'm now gonna go watch F1 qualifying that happened in the middle of the night. I felt so bad, there's this girl in my connect group and we bond over F1, we're both F1 fans. And I came in this morning and I was like, I'm so sorry, please do not say a word to me about qualifying because I haven't seen it. She was like, what, I can't even talk to you about? I'm like, sorry, no. I'm gonna go watch that now. We're back on the camera. I have just imported all the footage so far into my computer. F1 qualifying, oh my days. Lando Norris, he's back up there again in pole position. I think it's gonna take so long to edit because it's like two and a half hours of footage. It's so bad. And just like that, it's literally nine o'clock on the dot. It is time for bed. I managed to do a rough cut of this video that you're currently watching tonight and got it down from two and a half hours to 35 minutes. When I film a week in the life, it's always just like I'm filming it. I'm like, I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys. I thought this video is going to be a long one, so if you made it to the end, I appreciate you. You are a true, true subscriber. Thank you so much. Stay safe, stay well. Jesus loves you, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs>